sorry about that the video ended but anyways um yeah so trying to think what else been going on hmm no, I'm just living life man I'm just finally I'm enjoying life uh, it's not every day it's not I have my good days I have my bad days you know but it it seems like the good days are getting more often than the bad days uh, I can't say every day gets better for me but I can't say every week's getting better for me since since I quit everything and changed my life around and it wasn't just the boxing like that was part of it but it was just everything like I, I like I was just saying it's everything it's it's friends social life work uh, money uh, planning the future uh, paying off my loan plan on going back to school so trying to just get my life back little by little uh, one day at a time because I tend to I'm a very impatient person I'm sure a lot of you are but I am extremely extremely impatient and I just want things to get done quick and then I end up rushing it and fuck it all up and that's why I just want to take a step back with everything and just you know go easy one day at a time and see you know what life brings me so far it's been good it's only been a month that I've been clean and free from suboxone and I already feel like my life's been good, you know. Uh, there's some, and I feel okay, you know. I was scared because I was, before all this shit happened, what stopped me from making the jump was not only because I couldn't get below two milligrams, but it's because I kept hearing horror stories from YouTube or Google online, you know, from other people that say they would withdraw for six months and they get paused for two years. And I'm like, you fucking kidding me? If I was... Like, I, I only heard it physically, like I said, three days. I, I had, like, diarrhea and nauseous. I couldn't sleep. And, you know, after the fourth day, I was I was okay physically. I still wake up with chills. and But I didn't get any hot cold this time. I didn't feel any pain whatsoever like I did the year before or when I was on Oxys. Or, actually, the Suboxone withdrawal was a fucking walk in the park. It, this, it does linger um, more. Like, you know, it's been a month later. And, like I said, I still wake up feeling restless and feeling icky but like I said it goes away after I start moving and you know thanks to this guy you know help me uh, deal with d during my during the daytime because that's my hard time it's like dealing during the day um, but yeah I'm very impatient and I'm just glad that I healed pretty fast um, it's only been a month and I feel like you know I feel good there's other people that's why I like going to meetings because there's people in my meetings that they've been it's been three months, four months clean, and they're still dealing with like depression and anxiety and and other sorts of problems. And I'm just like, holy shit! Like if I was like more than a month, I think feeling sick or something, I I I wouldn't I would have, I would have to relapse or go back. Like there's no way I'm freaking waiting like a month or two months or three months to start feeling better. I'm that's just how I am. Maybe that's why I heal so fast and because I'm I'm so impatient and. Plus, I, I put a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of energy to, you know, get where I am now. And every day I learn something new uh, about everything, not just supplements, not just, but more important, more about myself. Uh, by meeting other people, I learn more about myself, you know, and it helps me, like, stay away from certain triggers, you know, because I have a lot of triggers I've noticed that, you know, I'll, makes me want to use again, you know. But then I, like, stop myself. I'm like, wait, what? What is that gonna do? It's not gonna fix my problem. Whether it's like having a bad day, whether a customer yell at me, whether I got in trouble at work, or whether, you know, some ex girlfriend is fucking annoying me or something, you know, I'm not gonna let that um, get to me. So, so yeah, I'm finally uh, adulting, I guess. <laughs> finally growing up, because it's time. You know, I just turned uh, 37, so yeah, it's time for the to stop the bullshit. And get on with my life so um anyways uh, done rambling i just wanted to keep up with you guys and update and let you guys know i'm doing good um i'll make another video uh when i get a chance and i hope everybody's having a wonderful day peace